Hello, this is teacher Jacob. Today we are going to have a reading class. So don't forget uh, this, uh, this class is very special because we are going to enter to a new unit, unit seven. So before we start the class, uh, I just want to say that uh, we have we have uh, one unit is telling us about the best places that you like to visit. For example, and uh, for all of you, can you tell me the best place that you like? For example. Uh, you like uh, uh, parks in La Calera, you like the countryside, uh, you like the moderns, you like the lake, you like uh, malls in Bogota, perhaps, uh, you like, uh, what else, you like the peaceful that you are living in La Calera town. Uh, you like the teachers, you like the school, uh, you like your neighborhood. So these are uh, very special because you can uh, understand, you can understand the best places that you like for your life. Let me explain to you in Spanish. Uh, this class is going to be for sixth grade and uh, we are going to talk to uh, the best places or the place that you like to visit or to stay the, the best places that you like it in Bogota or in La Calera, okay? Hoy vamos a empezar una unidad 7 y nos habla de los lugares, los lugares que nos gusta the park, the mall, the school, the country, the, the, uh, the neighborhood, and so on. So that's why it's very important that, okay? So let's start the class. Let's start. Vamos a empezar. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go to the class. So today we're going to have a reading class, okay? So let's go to the reading class. This is reading class. Remember, it's going to be about page um, page uh, 70, 78. So a great place. So the best places that you like it. El, el lugar más bonito. Of course, we're going to talk about also uh, the, uh, the places that you like around the world. Vamos a mirar también lugares, pues, que nos guste de las ciudades o de otros lugares, ¿ok? So, a, a, Unit 7 is a great place, a value civic pride. Uh, civic pride is about appreciating your, country, your, your community. Bueno, vamos a hablar del valor de acá. Una de las cosas que debemos de todos entender es que uh, hay que apreciar y sentirnos orgullosos de las cosas que tenemos en nuestra comunidad. Por ejemplo, en La Calera. La Calera has an spectacular lake. La Calera tiene un, un, una laguna muy bonita, spectacular. As a marines, tiene montañas, spectacular mar, marines. La Calera has a beautiful people, gente muy bonita, very educated people. Uh, La Calera has no pollution. La Calera no tiene contaminación. So those are espectacular. Entonces, eso es lo que debemos apreciar y querer en la comunidad. Sentirnos orgullosos, pride de la uh, de, de, de place. In order of importance, number what makes you hometown special. So hometown, la palabra hometown, it's como eh, el lugar donde nosotros somos. Por ejemplo, yo soy de La Calera, entonces es mi hometown. 
El lugar donde yo nací, donde me crié, donde estoy, donde vivo. Es el hometown. ¿Ok? So, another the importance of make a hometown special. Entonces, ¿qué hace, por ejemplo, especial la calera? People, food, facilities, location, history, festivals. Entonces, de acuerdo a eso, tú vas a decir, ah, bueno, la calera lo más bonito es la gente. Lo segundo, la comida. Lo tercero, eh, la locación, location, que está bien ubicado. Eh, festivals, no sé qué festivales hay en la calera, pero ahí tienen que colocar del 1 a 6, 1 to 6, ok? And that's what I want to do. It. All right, let's go now reading. Now it is getting around, read more. Getting around, vamos a uh, getting around es como dar una vuelta, getting around. Libraries, por ejemplo, libraries, yo creo que debe haber bibliotecas en, en la calera. Art and culture, art and culture facilities. Read more places to go. Read more. So let's go. Vamos a leer aquí esto, okay? Remember, reading class. Actividad uno. One circle, círculo, palabras desconocidas. So circle the words that you don't understand. Underline, subraya, verbos, verbs, okay? And three, you're going to repeat after me. Y la tercera, van a repetir conmigo las lecturas, ¿ok? Noten que acá hay A, B, C, D. Entonces, aquí vamos a mirar este qué título tendría. Vamos a ver. Parts. Sydney has more than 400 parks, including High Park and Pandington Gardens. Most parks have cafes. In children's playgrounds, and in some parts, there are sports fields and barbecue areas. Swimming pools. People in Sydney love water, and the city has five aquatic centers. Each center has an Olympic swimming pool that is open all the year. Cycling. Cycling. Cycling is a popular way to get around in Sydney. There is a 200 kilometers bike network in the city. So this is network city, like a path. C, let's go to C. Find books, CDs, DVDs, e-books, and more in City of Sydney Library Catalog. D. Sydney is famous for its beautiful, beautiful harbour bridge and the Sydney Opera House, but it is also a very diverse city city. The Rocks area has an interesting sport and great museums. Hay Market and Chinatown are full of Chinese, Thai, and Vietnamese restaurants and markets. All right, so according to these readings, according to these readings, what we are going to do is to answer the question, I mean, comprehension on the next page. So we're going to see page uh, seven, 79, and notice this, here you have the reading comprehension. So reading comprehension. Reading, Sydney, uh, the world, el mundo, reading, lectura, Sydney. Browsing a new website. When you go on a new website, uh, look at the menu bar, think about kind of information is session will contain. And uh, this is when you are traveling in website or you're in, uh, in an internet. All right, so let's go. Now it is working first and discuss the question. So we're gonna do five activities. So activity one, work in pairs, discuss the question. Well, we don't have pairs, no tenemos parejas, pero vamos a hacer el ejercicio individualmente. Where is Sydney? ¿Dónde queda Sydney? Entonces aquí vamos a copiar where is Sydney, okay? 
B. Where, what famous places are in Sydney? ¿Qué lugares hermosos hay en, en, o famosos hay en Sydney? En la lectura nos dicen tres. Three. Three uh, interesting places. Entonces aquí las escribimos. One. Ok, two, three. Read the extras and label the section of the website. Read extras and label the section of the WhatsApp. Uh, this is not necessary to do it. Este no es necesario hacerlo, ¿ok? All right, so let's go to number three. Say, rewrite the sentences with the correct information. Aquí dice, reescribir o volver a escribir las oraciones correctas de acuerdo a la información de la lectura. Entonces, Sydney has 200 parks. Que si Sydney tiene 200 partes. Let's check it out. Vamos a revisar. Let's check it out. Uh, no, no, this. Yes, uh, Sydney. Okay, look. Sydney has 400 parks. So, vamos a corregir. Correction, next page. But look here, vamos acá, entonces aquí escribimos, Sydney has 400 parks, ok? Understand that? Volvemos a escribir la información con incorrecta, ok? The aquatic centers close in winter. The aquatic centers close in winter. Look at the page. Entonces, vamos y miramos aquí. Next page. Y aquí aparece uh, gives information. Sydney is famous about. Oh, oh no, where is Sydney? Uh, here. Yo, where is it? Museum City is famous. No. Uh, uh, here. Here. Swimming pools. People in Sydney love water, and the city has five aquatic centers. Each center has an Olympic swimming pool that is open all year. Open, open all the year. Entonces, let's go. Vamos a la next page, and we go here. The aquatic center closed in the winter? No, no, really. Entonces, acabamos. The, the aquatic center never, never, never close. Puede ser una nunca cierra. Never close in winter. It's all the year, todo el año. So the aquatic center is open. The, the aquatic center opens all the year. Escribimos. The aquatic center is Opened, opened uh, all the year. There is, there is, recuerden que there is, is I, a uh, 500 kilometer circle network in Sydney. Not really, but let's go to riding. Oh, let's go to riding bicycle. So here he has the information. So cycling is a popular to get around Sydney. There is 200, 200 bike network in city. So that is the, the answer that you need to write. Correct? Entonces, esa respuesta la vamos a colocar aquí. Okay? There is not 500. There is 200. There is 200. 200. All right. City in Sydney library has only books. Mm. Entonces, vamos y miramos and the answers y colocamos. Vamos a la otra página y miramos. Ok. And uh, that's all for today. Entonces, recuerde, hay que buscar palabras desconocidas, subrayar los verbos, eh, repetir con el profesor la lectura y completar los ejercicios 1, 2, 3. No more. Vamos a hacer solo esos tres. 1, 2, 3. No more. Y eso lo que vamos a hacer, uh, uh, the reading comprehension. Okay? Don't forget, it's very important you look at the dictionary. Okay? So, 
The class is over, so see you next class. Don't forget to do this in the class, okay?